I've been known as someone that's pretty difficult to coach. Byron has told it or told me many times. So for today's video, he doesn't know what's going on. He's going to teach me how to bat left-handed. I do have a little bit of a jump on other players because I do understand the technique as a coach. So let's hear what he has to say about it. I've already taught you how to bat right-handed. Why do I have to do it left-handed as well? And why me? As you notice in the intro, today we are going to be challenging ourselves by batting the incorrect way around and still trying to get a good session out of it. In essence, it is replicating a new player to cricket. When starting off with any new cricketer, it is really important to find out what their capabilities and the level of play that they have. So to start off, we started with very slow overarm throws, just to see where Zemi was at and what he could do. And then from there, we're going to work Shot, in lad. a that might training have, schedule might have to make this work. As you can see from the way he's embedded, yeah, <laughs> it's much easier to just list the things he did right. Number one, he made contact sometimes. And number two, he could sweep. End of our list. Oh, that is stunning. In this video, we are going to focus on two types of shots. Look We're going to focus that. on drives, which is going why to be our front foot focus, and the pull shot, which is the back foot focus. You may be asking why we're not looking at a defensive shot. I'm just so the defensive shot it. is just the drive, fantastic. but That's slowing the hands down right instead of accelerating the hands through the point of contact. For this overarm session, yeah, to be I'm honest, I'm... barring the sweep shot, I didn't actually need the nets because Zenon wouldn't have hit it out of the nets even if there weren't any. So the first thing we're going to focus on is having a nice big swing to help us generate power because at the end of the day, batting is all about scoring runs. So to start off, we are going to use the golf swing draw. This is to try and replicate a nice big full swing completely through to get the batter used to swinging through. As you can see here, Zenden struggled to find the rhythm as a left-handed golfer. It took quite a few practice swings before we eventually got started. How the draw works is the batter goes into a semi front foot press and then generates a nice big swing from that position, having a strong stable base and just allowing the hands to go through the ball and complete a full rounded swing. This is going to help us hit through the ball and train us to hit the ball out of the net <laughs> into the net. Don't laugh. That was better. The progression for this is we are still going to have a golf swing in a sense, but instead of breaking through the ball, we're going to try and keep the bat going in the line of where we're trying to hit the ball. This is to enable us to hit the ball a little bit harder in that direction and also gives us slightly more margin for error. Whereas if you break too early, you're going to miss the ball. Whereas if you keep this nice and upright, you still got a chance to get the inside or outside half of the bat. I am going to be honest with everyone watching this video. I did fear a little bit for my shins here, as I thought Zen was going to slice one straight into the shin. Moving not so swiftly along, we now moved on to getting ready to hit from a stepped or ready position. So for this, we got Zen into the position and just popped the balls there. He tried to see if he started with his hands up, if he had a better connection, or his hands down. This is going to be preferential to any new batter. They're going to choose either one and then you stick with it and keep working from there. Look at that! For this next section, we really wanted to focus on our lines to the ball and being able to step towards the ball to create our new channels. So we started off by putting balls on the ground in a on drive position, a straight drive position and a cover drive position. From here, Zen was going to step and play the shot through each ball. As you can see, the coordination for Zenon wasn't always there, and he did hurt the toe of his bat quite a bit. But, as we did this, he started hitting his bat a little bit softer. It never went away, but the bat survived, so we were happy with that. <laughs> Moving forward, we now gave the ball a bit of movement by doing little pop-ups. Still stepping to it, but we focused on one drive at a time. We started with the cover drive, moved on to the straight drive, and finished with an on-drive. As you can see, Zenon started hitting each ball better and better as we went. So into the on drive, he was hitting it closer to his best, because his body started getting used to the lines and the movements that we had trained earlier. And you could already see that there was a change in the way he struck the ball. For the last actual section on the drive, we went to underarm throws with a double bounce. This is to have control and to make sure that the ball is coming nice and slow but also forces the batter to wait to make good contact with the ball. We do this as it trains us to get used to the ball coming towards us and still being able to play the shot with the movement that is needed. What's also nice about this is the throwing won't be as consistent as the popping. Yeah. So sometimes you have to change your alignment slightly and still play a shot while hitting through the ball. As a batter, it's always nice when the ball comes onto you because once it hits a bat, it goes off the bat. 
that much better and gives you that much more satisfaction. Not that then and here to drill you. At this point in the video, leave us a like and also consider subscribing to our channel to join us on our cricket learning journey. Moving on to what is my favorite shot, the pull shot. Here we're going to start just by getting into a side on position, throwing the ball under arm nice and slow, oh! trying to hit with a natural swing. It doesn't matter if the batter hits it up or down from this position. It's all about building the confidence in hitting the ball with a nice natural swing. Pull shot is quite a natural swing because it's the way the body wants to move through the ball. So use that natural swing and you can refine it later on. Look at this man laughing at me. <laughs> the next step we did was then to actually train which hands meant to lead on the pull shot. So into the set position and hitting with only your bottom hand while trying to still have a full extension. This is going to train you to hit through the ball with a nice big swing while not losing any of the naturalness of the swing itself. After this, we move into what we did at the start again and we throw slow over arms to see if there has been any progression and to see what the batter has learned. Oh, it's off the square! Oh! It's off the square! As you can clearly see with this, Zenon is not a natural as a left-hander by any stretch of the imagination. But there was a vast improvement in the striking ability and the movement towards the ball. And he actually hit one that might have rolled to the boundary if the field was cut. But that is already an improvement from where earlier he was even struggling to make it hit the net. So keep doing this. The repetition oh. is what's going to help you. And once your body gets used to the movements, focusing on the other part becomes that much easier. Yep. No, that's shooting. That was right-handed. 